Uh, and we got our behinds kicked, um, starting with me all the way down. Uh, you got to give Dallas credit. Uh, they actually played the way that we like to play. Um, they just kept the game simple. Anytime we sent the second guy at the ball or anytime they tried to drive the basketball, somebody was open, they just made the simple pass and whoever caught it stepped in and shot a wide open shot or they caught it and drove it and then they um, sprayed the ball and they got great looks from the three point line because they just kept making the same simple play over and over and over and over again. And and obviously Luca hit some tough, tough shots at the beginning of the game to uh to get them going. But that you know, that's what great players do. And uh and then after that, um it, it was just downhill because of the way that they uh move the basketball after short paint touches or even a little deep deeper paint touches. Um you know, we didn't do a great job defensively. Um, we didn't do a great job contesting shots when we did have an opportunity to contest shots. Uh, they won the possession game. Um, you know, we talked about playing fast, and we had five fast break points. You know, and I told our guys, I said, hey, they played last night and had to travel in. We played last night and we were here. And to have five fast break points is not good enough, uh, especially when they had 18. Um, and... Uh, you know, I don't know why, but our transition passes uh, were not good. We threw underhand passes. We threw off-balance passes over the top. But we had to have three or four turnovers in transition that just cost us. Um, and, you know, I, you talk about spraying the ball. I thought in the first half, you know, Luca had a big first half, so you got to give him credit. It was Part of the reason why they had 58 points, he had 26. And, uh, you know, we hitting them, blitzing them, uh, but he still found a way at times to get free and shoot a step back and knock down some deep threes. Uh, but offensively, even though we weren't playing our best, we still at times tried to play the right way because everybody knows when Domus is rolling, they're doing this. When we drive the ball, they're doing this. And so – they're daring us to spray the basketball. And sometimes you got to spray it early. And in the first half, we were five for 10 in sprays. And you know, our goal is to get to, tw to get to 20. In the second half, we were one for four. We were one for four in sprays. And that just tells you that, you know, we either drove and tried to finish in traffic, uh, or we had the ball in traffic and tried to finish. But we did not spray the basketball. Our spacing wasn't good. Uh, our pace in the half court wasn't good. Our cutting wasn't good. But the biggest thing is we just would not spray the basketball to save our lives. And to have four sprays against a, a pretty good defensive team like that uh, is not good enough. We were one for four in sprays. And by the time we took our starters out, uh, I think we had a total of 24 threes. And a lot of that had to do because we weren't spraying the basketball. So we we, we obviously weren't good defensively. Luca uh, and, and Kyrie, they were they're great players, and they had a lot to do with it. But offensively, um, watching us play tonight, I, I'm 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 a little surprised how how we how we played. Coach, on those double teams for Luca, Kyrie, what do you feel like you guys could have done to sort of clean up them still making plays out of that? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, when you double somebody in, in our league, you're telling the other team somebody's going to take, somebody else is taking a shot. And like I said, you just got to give them credit because what they did was when we doubled them, um, they just tried to stretch the double team so that our rotations are longer. And then they just got the ball out and they made one more, you had to rotate, they made one more simple pass, and because they stretched the double team and our rotations are longer. Now, again, you always talk about, I always talk about the domino effect our team. Our team sometimes gets into the mode where the guy that has the ball thinks he has to make, an assi make the assist. And sometimes it's the hockey assist that kills teams. And so t tonight when we did blitz, they did a great job of, of extending uh, the double team, and we had to because those guys both had it going in certain tar times of the game. But they got it out just simply to the open man, and they let that open man make a play when we had to rotate to him. And, you know, 
you just live with whoever takes a shot at that time, and hopefully you're able to get there and contest. And and more than that, you hope that they miss. But if they make shots, then at the end of the day, you can say, hey, I'm going to live with that because we're not letting Luca get another 26 in the second half and then Kyrie, you know, get 20 or 30 in, in, in the second half himself. Mike, coming into this game tonight, I know there were – it was called or labeled as like a mini uh, – playoff series with with everything that's on the line if, in, in the circumstances like let's say this was game one of the playoffs and you have two days off before game two and another crack at the same opponent what do these two days look like and are is the approach the same even in the regular season well it's a, it's a little different like tomorrow uh we're giving the guys off for sure because we play a lot of games in a short and a short amount of time and especially when we have a back-to-back um we give guys a day off, so they'll have a day off tomorrow. In the playoffs, we'd probably come in and at least watch film, you know, get some free throws and some shots up or something like that. Um, but uh, they have a day off, and then we'll come in and we'll practice the next day uh, and then get ready to play the following day. So it's, so it, so it's a little different uh, in that regard, but uh, there's still, a, still a really, really important games, and, and it's great for us to see if we can bounce back and figure out what we can do better uh, in the second game. Mike, the third quarter issue that we saw tonight, that hasn't really been sort of who you guys are this season. What is it that you saw coming out of halftime that they were able to come out and just run away from you guys so fast? Uh, you know, and again, I, I don't want to put it uh, all on us offensively but because uh, we, we didn't do a great job defensively. But, but our, our offense tonight – led to some easy baskets for them. And when we turned the ball over or we f- took forced tough shots because we held on to it, held on to it, held on to it, now the shot clock's going down and we're standing. Now we got to jack something up. And it's a tough shot, so it hits the rim, it bounces long, and then they're in transition. When you get a couple of those, uh, it can be deflating. <laughs> you know, You hope that it's not. Uh, for us, it was tonight, and we started the second uh, the second half. Um, I know early on we had a turnover, and then we had one or two bad shots in a row. And every time we did something like that, they made us pay. And I mean, you could feel it just took the air out of us. And um, you know, normally we're pretty resilient when that happens. You know, we we just keep grinding and finding a way. Uh, tonight we didn't. Um, but I, 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 I felt more than anything else, it started with the way uh, that we played on the offensive end of the floor um, in that second half. I mean, you know, to, ha- to go one for four in sprays um, and then to have the type of turnovers we had, it's just, it's not good. Coach, pregame, you talked a little bit about um, adversity and while making it clear that you don't want to lose these games, but sometimes it could be good for the team to go through some of these losses. Do you consider tonight's loss, uh, the team can benefit from a loss like tonight? Yeah. I mean, this this is, you know, this is a great time for us to see if we have it uh, within ourselves to go out and play the right way. And, you know, you're not going to win every game, obviously. I don't care how, how well you play, but – you know, you don't want to you don't want to walk away from a game if you can help it um, with a bad taste in your mouth, knowing that there are a lot of things out on the floor that we could have done better um, just by keeping the game simple, just by doing what we do, uh, what we what we uh, emphasize, and that's what makes it tough. Is you know, we emphasize. There are a handful of things that we emphasize a lot, but you know, as of late, it's been about the sprays and it's been about the contests. And um, we didn't do a good job in, in either area. Uh, we, we, when we made that, if you think about it, when we made that little mini run uh, in the third, I think we had Alex and Davion and Malik, maybe Dorte and Keegan. Uh, that's we had just in that two minute or three minute burst alone. We I think we had three three of our four sprays, and then we might have had one the rest of the half. And it, it, Alex he caught it. He got a little bounce pass diving down the lane, and he kicked it to Keegan. And Keegan had a wide open corner three that he missed. You know Malik drove and hit Davion at the top of the floor for a wide open spray. We started playing the right way, and you can feel 
um, the momentum or the juice of the group out on the floor on both ends of the floor. Not only that, Dallas was pressed a little bit. They started missing some shots. They they, they ended up getting a 50-50 ball, and, and uh, Hardaway hit a little pull-up jumper at the free throw line. Otherwise, it would have been like an 8-0 or 10-0 run. You know, so um, it's, to me, it, to all of us in that locker room, it's a great opportunity for us to see if we can bounce back play the right way, and see if we get, can get a win uh, against these guys in, in the next three days. Hey, Mike, uh, this might be better for after you watch the film, but they were pressing Domas a lot, especially at the three-point line, the foul line. Is there something that you guys can do offensively to kind of combat that, especially when they're pressing him so much? He's going to have to go by um, uh, Gafford. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, see, when, when you're – when, you, when you're younger on the playground, if somebody's getting up in your chest, you got to first of all create space with your pivot foot, and then if they keep doing it, jab one way, and then you're going to have to go by them. And when you go by them, you know, in their case, help's coming. Help's coming. So if help's coming, then that's when the spray has to happen. So you have to um, make sure everything that you do is purposeful against those guys because they're a pretty good defense team, and they're big. Uh, they're a lot bigger than us, and they have some pretty good athletes. But we can't allow them to uh, have us play on our back hill all the time. So um, just going by your man, not necessarily a score every once in a while, but to draw help knowing that if somebody comes from here, I'm just making a simple. I may not get the assist because they may rotate, but I got to get off of it and sometimes get off of it before I take two, or before I take a third or fourth dribble and let that person get the assist. So, thank you.